Hello, and welcome to Inaware's Process Runner Help series. In this video, we will show how Process Runner schedule functionality enables process files to be scheduled with ease. The scheduler functionality works through Windows Task Scheduler that automatically launches Process Runner and executes the process file at its corresponding scheduled time. If Windows login information is provided, it can even log in and start Process Runner automatically. Let's begin with the Mara data extraction script, which has already been recorded. Let's schedule this extraction to take place on the first Friday of every month at 9 o'clock p.m. We need to click the Scheduler ribbon, which is hidden by default. To make it visible, let's click the Show Ribbons drop-down and select Scheduler to unhide it. In the Scheduler ribbon, let's select the Schedule button. In the Scheduler tab, we have various scheduling options. The Enable checkbox activates the scheduler. The Run Only If Logged On checkbox instructs Process Runner to execute the scheduled task only if the user of the scheduled task is logged on. If we disable this checkbox, we would need to configure a login ID and password of the Windows system to schedule the execution in log off mode. The Silent Mode checkbox will suppress error pop-ups when executing the scheduled processes and will display the error messages in a log file instead. The Comment Text box allows us to enter information for the current scheduler task to be displayed. In the Run as User text box, we need to type the user account that we want the scheduled task to run on. If the task requires administrative permission to run, then this account must be assigned as an administrator account. In the Logon Shortcut dropdown, we can select a previously created logon shortcut, which automatically enters the login credentials to log into SAP. When scheduling and executing a process file using the scheduler, we must always ensure the process file is saved with the logon shortcut. In the Schedule Type dropdown, there are various scheduling types to choose from. We can select the task to run daily, weekly, monthly, just once, on logon, and when idle. Let's select monthly as we want this extraction to run on the first of every month. On the right, we will be asked to select which months as well as which day of the month. Let's make sure all the months are selected and select the second option to set the day of the first Friday of the months. The first option can be selected if we wanted to set a numeric date of the months. In the Start Time and Start Date dropdowns, we can set a Start Time and Start Date for the execution of the task. Let's change the Start Time to 9 o'clock p.m. and we can leave the Start Date to today's date. In the Settings tab, we have more settings related to the scheduled task. The Repeat Task checkbox allows our scheduled task to be repeated. Under Repeated Task, we can specify how often the scheduled task is repeated in minutes or hours. The Until option allows us to select the time duration of when the task will be repeated. We can choose between time or duration. Time specifies if the task runs repeatedly at the interval specified in the Every field. Duration specifies the length for the repeated execution of the scheduled process. Furthermore, we have the option to set an end date for when we want to stop scheduling the task. The If the task is still running, Stop it at this time checkbox allows for all instances of the scheduled task to be stopped according to the deadline set by the time or duration fields. Under the Scheduled Task Completed field, the Delete Task If It Is Not Scheduled To Run Again checkbox specifies if the task file is deleted from the computer's hard disk after its execution and is not scheduled to run again. The Stop Task If It Runs For checkbox specifies whether the task is stopped after it has been running for a specified amount of time. The specified time can be set in the format of hours and minutes in the corresponding field. In the Idle Time field, the Only Start the Task If Computer Has Been Idle For At Least checkbox specifies whether to initiate the scheduled task after a specified time in minutes of an activity. The Stop the Task If Computer Ceases to be Idle checkbox will stop the task if the usage of the computer is resumed during the execution of the task. The If Computer Has Not Been Idle That Long, Retry For Up To field specifies the length of time in minutes that the scheduler continues to verify whether the computer is idle. Once that time has been reached, no occurrences of the task are executed. In the Power Management field, the Don't Start Task If Computer Is Running On Batteries checkbox specifies whether the scheduled task is prevented from starting while the computer is running on batteries. The Stop Task If Battery Mode Begins checkbox instructs the scheduler to stop the execution of the ongoing task if the computer suddenly begins running on batteries. Lastly, the Wake the Computer to Run the Task checkbox specifies whether the computer wakes up from sleep mode to run the task at the scheduled time. Now that we have configured the scheduler settings for this script, let's save our settings by clicking the Save button. Our scheduled task will appear and we will now have options to edit, delete, and refresh our scheduled task. The Task Scheduler Manager, Auto Send Email Log, and Email Configuration buttons allow for additional functionality of the scheduler, but these will be covered in a separate video. With the scheduler functionality in Process Runner, process files can automatically be executed at time and date set by the designer. This makes data management easier and more effective through automation. 
Want to learn more about simplifying SAP with Inaware Technologies? Visit us at inaware.com. Thank you for watching.